Hello there YouTube. Um, I do a lot of videos containing lithium cells and lithium batteries. Uh, I caught the bug a couple of years ago and I put, tried to put lithium batteries in anything I can imagine. Anything that I can think of, I will try and put lithium batteries in. <coughs> but these are very, very dangerous batteries and uh, should really do I oh, should really have a warning on all of my videos saying, you know, do not attempt this if you do not feel competent or have the right equipment. So, lots of people stab around in laptop batteries for these, including me. And uh, one false move, uniting these two bits together or shorting out a BMS, could mean you have a nasty burn on your screwdriver or an explosion. And these are very dangerous cells. Um... Whenever I'm taking apart these ba uh, laptop batteries and various things, I always have a pair of safety glasses on. Uh, sometimes wear them when I'm soldering. And uh, th they do demand a lot of respect. Um, I'm quite nervous every time I come to bring my soldering iron anywhere near one of these. Especially these uh, LiPo pouches. I, I, don't, I don't touch them. You never see any of them in my videos because I... I I don't don't want to be stabbing around near them. So, how do I sort my good from my bad lithium cells, my bad 18650s? Well, after stabbing around in a laptop battery or cutting them apart, then I have to charge them up. And I find the best way to charge a dead or flat lithium cell, emphasis on the dead, apparently you can't bring these back and once they go past 3 volts or whatever they are dead with these along with 100 odd other ones that Stu sent me proves otherwise with a little bit of um, patience uh, I've got some of these back up to 1.7 amp hours 1.4 amp hours majority of the cells from Stu came up to just above 1.5 amp hours, 1.592, 1.586, so they do still hold a capacity and with uh, the quantity I have I can still make something of this. What I've been using to charge them, because when you've got that quantity you're going to want something or some sort of setup to cycle them is that these which are little TP hang on let me look I've written it down on the on my bin somewhere TP 4056's and they come in micro and mini USB um, USB inputs these are the micro variety the same lead that you'd use to charge your your Samsung, your HTC uh, and many other tablets and, and phones the, the mini is the, that squarish type. So, I'll bring this into the light while I zoom this in. So, your 5 volt input goes on the USB side, either via USB or by this uh, positive and negative terminals on the outside. That's all well and good. On the other side, we have um, another four terminals, and you can see the B plus and B minus in the middle. And I've been using them, and uh, the plus out and minus out, <laughs> positive and negative out, which you can use uh, for loads. So you could charge a lithium cell with this, and then take it out to another module, which would step it back up to five volts to charge um, phones and things. So you you've uh, your basic power bank. So using the B plus and B minus and, and the outside, on the inside is the battery terminals. I've just been using generic um, crocodile clips and uh, noting which one is positive. They are good. They are brilliant. They have one downside though, and that is if you connect your positive. and your negative around the wrong way, they go pop. And I've destroyed at least a dozen. There we go. If you connect your negative to your positive, and your positive to your negative, 
this little board warms up and goes pop. Now this is a dead one. Um, and you have to react quite quick. And normally you notice uh, that you've got wrong polarity on this because first things first, the LEDs go out. And if you don't, it does seem to catch fire. Now that's getting warm to touch. It's almost too warm to touch. But I'm going to leave that there. Just for a minute. And I'm going to pop on my safety glasses. Now, two LEDs on this. You get a blue one to say your um, battery is charged. And you get a red one, which I can fall, to say it's charging. If you connect them the wrong way, you don't get a red and you don't get a blue. It's gone pop. So, after I've uh, charged up half a dozen cells, because what I normally try and do is have a row of these. I did have a row, row on the wall of my shed, but uh, due to the heat in, in this summer, they all decided to fall down one by one, so they're, they're no longer there. So I, I normally have two or three um, pots with uh, sort of untested cells and cells in their various stages of charge and discharge and write each one down in the book. Once I've charged all my cells I then have to go on to discharge them and uh, I, was, I was just giving this one a quick top up and uh, I've collected over the last couple of years <coughs> um, four IMAX P6 chargers. They're not the real deal, they are copies and uh, I've owned five in total and I've, uh, I've only ever killed one. I've killed one and uh, a second which has a intermittent fault where it uh, thinks it's over temperature and when it goes over temperature it uh, just stops the process and you lose any data that you've had on ongoing. So anyway, after I've charged up umpteen cells I then have to go into uh, the IMAX and do a discharge. And I've been changing what I've been doing recently and, and doing a one amp discharge no matter what. So I normally do the discharges overnight and whilst I'm at work and then if I get a chance in the evening I'd come, in, come into the shed and I would just uh, swap the cells over between the charge, the discharged and, and the cells. And once I got to about five or once I was happy with the capacity I was getting fairly regularly, I'd uh, write on the capacity on the side, and any that were no good, I filed. And by filed, I mean they're in that tub there. Out of uh, out of stew cells, um, I think uh, there was about around about 10-15 cells that were completely dead and no good. That doesn't matter, because the amount of quantity of cells that we had that were good, there was loads. But this is every 18650 that I've ever taken out that's been bad in that pot there. Uh, just got to find a, a good way to recycle them. So, every laptop battery I've taken apart, all the bad cells are in that pot there. Ooh, got some good cells down here that waiting to find a project. They've all been numbered and graded and uh, I'm just uh, building up the reserves ready for a massive project using all the stew cells and I think I've just noticed one of his packs that I haven't done. So that's the last one. I thought I'd done them all. Anyway so that is how I charge and discharge all my lithium cells, grade them and uh, so sort them ready uh, for use in projects. Obviously safety is your number one priority. You should really, you should never leave these cells unattended. Um, and as these are outdoors in my shed, and if the shed burns down, the shed burns down. Uh, that's, that's, that would be my fault. Um, but as, as I say, back to the beginning, these cells demand a lot of respect. Obviously maybe not as much respect as, um, oh, as uh, these lithium pouches should, but I definitely recommend if you're uh, taking apart laptop batteries and things, you should be wearing 
uh, at the very least eye protection and um, maybe gloves maybe I should start wearing gloves and set an example but if you don't feel confident enough to to deal with these cells then just it's, it's not worth it because if you if you hurt yourself um, especially your eyes that's it hey, it's, it's life changing so this video has gone on way too long um, I'm going to split this into several videos. I'm going to do some uh, lithium pack building for for beginners and well, not beginners, you know, for that, those that oh, you know what I mean. I'm going to do some slower paced videos, detail and how I do it because uh, things uh, in my videos tend to go a little bit too fast. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe, comment, and rate, and uh, help me get to a thousand subscribers. That's that's my that's my main priority. Well, not my main priority. You know what I mean. It would be nice to get a thousand subscribers and see if this uh, see if they give you a, a, a little plaque. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching.